Trans Surfer and welcome to Trans Surfing TV. And this is one of our 78 days of practical trans surfing. Today, day 40 with the alternatives flow. So the prior lesson was against the flow and today's lesson is with the flow. So what you should do to use or utilize the alternatives flow for your benefit and the ease of navigating your reality. But first, remember to like this video and comment below. I love reality transurfing to win some of these. I pick 10 winners each week and I send off a nice big stack and you can start reprogramming your brain to the reality transurfing frequency. So with that, I will get started day 40 with the alternatives flow. Try to keep in balance with the outside world and trust the unfolding of the variance flow. Let go, stop being the participant. Become the objective observer. Make it a rule that you always do things in the simplest way possible. When you have to solve a problem, ask yourself, what is the simplest way of doing this? If something does not go according to plan, let your grip go and accept the matter of an unforeseen alteration to your script. If someone offers you something, don't be too quick to refuse. If someone gives you a piece of advice, try mulling it over. When you hear a different opinion, don't be in too much of a hurry to enter into debate. If you think someone is going about something in the wrong way, let them. People take their own initiative. Allow them to realize their intentions. The alternatives flow is a sumptuous gift for the mind. God, isn't that the truth? Vadim Zeeland's interpretation. The mind is always busy developing its plan of further action. When the mind is certain that it will weigh up everything and find the best possible way forward, yet a plan already exists in the variant space. The information structure is arranged in a chain of cause and effect relationships. These relationships generate the variance flow or the alternatives flow, which arranges events simply and effectively. People are used to having to overcome obstacles and row against the current. Remember this. Searching for complex solutions to simple problems becomes a habit. Nature does the opposite, always following the path of least resistance, wasting no energy. Okay, wait, there's more. <laughs> for example, why does it often happen that after searching the entire region for a particular item, you eventually find it right under your very nose? If you stay away from trouble and stop pushing against the variance flow, the solution will come of its own accord. And what is more, it will be the ideal solution. Okay, so I'm actually happy that I read that last little bit because that exact thing happened to me once and it was really, really crazy. I had this pair of shoes that I needed to have fixed and I was living in Paris and I lived in top of um, a, like a little sh sh row of shops and I walked around Paris all day long looking for a cobbler to fix my shoes, only to arrive home and realize one of the shops below my apartment, apartment was a cobbler, and I was like totally blown away. So this is exactly what Vadim Zeeland is talking about here, that we think with our inner intention thinking minds that we have to do something to make something happen, achieve the answer, find the information we're looking for, and so on and so forth. I do not solve problems anymore. I let my world solve them for me. Anytime a challenge arises, I stop myself, I see myself, I see my reality, and I am going to let outer intention bring me the solution to my complex problem. And now it almost always works. I don't have to stress. 
I don't have to fret. I don't have to freak out. I don't have to go and do an in induced transition or panic or have anxiety or any of that crap. So remember, the alternatives flow should be viewed like a free flowing river where all of what you intend to have or different variations of reality exists, right? So you got this free flowing river and then you have your different variations of reality. These are rocks, okay, in the river. And oftentimes via our inner importance and our outer importance, we clutch on to a singular rock and force this rock as hard as we can because we don't know what else to do. So reality transserving offers us the solution. We lower our levels of inner and outer importance. This allows us to let go of the rock. We start flowing downstream and we encounter other rocks that are better suited for us. And then we go about reaping the benefits of what is on these other variations of reality instead of doing what we did in the past, which was enforcing, you know, enforcing reality, forcing ourselves on reality, enforcing our will on reality, right? So the alternatives flow is a magical place. It is like, how could life possibly have been this easy all along? And I didn't even know it. This is exactly what my stickers are about. My world is taking care of me. Everything is going according to plan and things are working out beautifully and will continue to do so with ease. Oh, it's so good. Thank you, Vadim Zeland. You're my hero. So what do you think? Are you pushing too hard? Are you flowing? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear. Are you in the pre-trans surfing mindset still? Or are you starting to accept that variations of reality are accessible with ease if you let go of that rock of excess potential and importance. So thank you so much for watching my video, everyone. And the next one, day 41, the habit of remembering an awesome one. I hope you tune in. Thanks guys, bye.